I'm sorry I look like shit today, I never promised I'd look good in these videos. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game of Skates. Today, and only today, it is finally time. It is June, it is E3 hype season. We're gonna get rolling with a bunch of dope-ass E3 videos. I'm gonna do some prediction videos, I'm gonna do this video, I'm gonna do my reactions, and the whole month's basically gonna be E3 mania, right? Not Sonic mania, hopefully, maybe, one day, we'll get Sonic mania too, but... I thought today we would begin with an easy one, which are my top five most anticipated games of E3 2019. So these are games or things even that I want to see the most at E3. Like, that's why I don't have something like Mario Maker 2 here, because even though that's my most anticipated game of the year, we've already seen a ton of that, and I don't need more. Even if they show a trailer at E3, that's not what's going to be a giant thing for me. But I am super hyped to see what is next and what is on the horizon in the next week. So let's start. Number five is a bit of a cheat, but I'm going to roll with it. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC Pack 2, maybe 3. So, again, we've had no new character announced in Smash since December. Like, think about how crazy that is. That, yeah, not only was the wait for Joker so long, but we got no character announcement since then. And I really think it is time to open the gates there. I think they are going to show Pack 2 and live drop it. Maybe not live drop, but like very soon after drop it. And then show the final, the next character after that. So I think we are going to get like a double dose of Smash for this Nintendo E3. Because obviously Smash is huge. We need to get this DLC rolling. They can't take four months for every DLC character. I really do think the next one is coming very soon. And I'm thinking it's Erdrick from, from what's it called? The uh, fucking Dragon Quest. Or it's a Microsoft rep. And we are going to see soon. Number four, Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, this is a game we got a bit of a tease at at the latest PlayStation State of Play thingy, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And uh, it's looking fantastic. Now, they literally did say that was a tease and that more information is coming at E3. E3 is the big show for ff7 right this is the one where they're really gonna dive into it and be like all right here's kind of like the systems here's how we're rolling out the game plan hopefully a release date for part one i'm thinking it's not as far as we as we think maybe it's in early 2020 i mean i'd be shocked if it was this year i mean they could do it but i feel like that's gonna be like an early 2020 game and yeah so i'm just so excited to see that see T fucking tifa give me tifa i need that hot tifa now, number three is the Avengers Project. Yes, so Square Enix actually just recently revealed it is going to be at the show. And we've also got a couple details, right? So we know it is a game that is an action-adventure game that you can play alone or with up to four players, obviously, I assume, online. And yeah, again, this game is going to be huge, right? People are riding off the hype and wave of Endgame and Avengers and Marvel so much that there's going to be a lot of eyes on this game. And we're getting Marvel Ultimate Alliance in July. And I'm really thinking that this Avengers game is going to be... I think this could be a big fall game for Square. Like, I really do think they could release this in the fall, capitalize on the hype of Avengers. And having a game that you could play either alone or with friends online for Avengers is going to be massive. And again, I really do hope this game is gorgeous and everything. But it's like, we know nothing about this game. And that's why it's so high up on this list, because I just want to know what's going on. What is it like? What does it look like? How does it feel? We're going to find out soon. Number two, fucking Animal Crossing. We haven't seen shit from this game since September. Do you know how it feels to be an Animal Crossing fan and be withdrawn from info for nine months almost? It's insane. We've, they really did. I really do think they should have announced that game at the fucking, at the February direct instead of the last September direct. But I get it was a hype way to tie into Isabel being announced for Smash and then showing hey Animal Crossing is coming to Switch. But yeah, so Animal Crossing is a game we know nothing about. Like it is one of the biggest like kind of well-kept secrets at Nintendo. There haven't really been any leaks around it. There hasn't been much info scattering about it. So it's like, this is a game we're going to get a massive blowout of at E3. I really do think we're going to find out a lot of information and we're going to, we're really going to see what the fuck this game is. Is it traditional? Are they going to break the wheel a bit? Are they going to make it a massive town? Are you still the mayor? What's going on with Animal Crossing? And I hope we find out a lot more soon. And number one is Dragon Ball Project Z. Yes, I know, bit of a weird pick, but stick with me on this one. Dragon Ball, obviously one of my favorite franchises of all time. This game was revealed earlier this year to be, it's like a beautifully stylized action RPG 
of the original story of Dragon Ball Z. It's going to go through that entire storyline, and I am so excited to just finally see it, see what they're doing with it, see what the action is like, what the world is like, because man, if this game is just an incredible looking Dragon Ball game with awesome action, unique RPG elements, being able to fly around, experiencing that story, it's like, I love the idea of a very just focused Dragon Ball Z game not trying to do anything more that is really just nailing everything on the fucking head again we haven't seen shit from this game since its reveal and even in the reveal we didn't see gameplay really we kind of saw in-game cutscene footage right so i finally want to see a trailer for this i'm gonna assume we're gonna see a lot of this at the microsoft conference nowhere else i mean there's no other place to really show it but i'm just so fucking excited for this game the dragon ball nerd in me is so happy and i'm just so goddamn hyped and there you go, those are my top five games. Now, I also didn't include Pokemon because we're getting a direct on Wednesday. So, like Wednesday, like this Wednesday. So, I mean, we're not going to get much info at E3. We're going to get a lot of that on Wednesday this week. But so, I'm hyped. I hope you're hyped. Let me know your most anticipated games of E3. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.